Okay, so this is the slab roller and the slab roller is going to roll nice quarter inch slabs of clay for you much quicker than um, it is to roll it by hand. So once I show you how to use this today, you will be able to use this whenever you need to. However, um, you should never use the excuse, I had to wait in line for the slab roller um, as to why your project is late. So know that rolling a slab by hand is always an option. Um, and because I only have one slab roller, sometimes there is quite a bit of a line. So just know that it's not an excuse to turn in a project late, okay? So essentially what the slab roller is, it has a big metal roller that's at quarter of an inch. We've got a canvas covered board here and then a big thick piece of canvas here. It essentially rolls your clay, rolls um, your clay in between these two pieces of canvas and you have a nice slab. So right now the slab roller has not been used today. So both canvas pieces are very dry. In that case, you can roll your clay right onto the canvas pieces. If you come over here and notice that there are quite a few wet spots from the slab roller being used, um, anytime that canvas gets too wet, we know that your clay could potentially stick to it. So if you come over here and you find that being the case, um, just grab yourself a loose piece of canvas from the canvas container and you can put this down um, Make sure that it's nice and flat as a buffer between the wet uh, Canvas on the slab roller and your clay. So I'm not going to use this today But know that you can if there are big wet spots also know you don't necessarily always have to start at the top So you could if there's a dry spot down towards the bottom of the slab roller you could start with your clay down there just so that we're utilizing all parts of the slab roller. So when we go to use the slab roller, we wanna prepare our clay and this should absolutely be done before you come over here. So don't spend your time up here preparing your clay um, because we really just want to use the slab roller and move on so that we're being as efficient as possible. So when you get to the slab roller, your piece of clay should be really, really well wedged and you want it to be somewhat flattened out. So this thickness is pretty good. It's maybe an inch and a half. And I just kind of, after I wedged it, I just pushed it down by hand. I didn't use a rolling pin at all. I just pushed it down. And then I'm going to put it at the top of the slab roller. I'm going to unroll the big piece of canvas. So your clay should be in between the canvas board and the thick piece of canvas. Your clay should not be visible at this point. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start rolling. You should feel some resistance, but it shouldn't be so hard to turn that you have to use all of your might. If that's the case, you probably need to flatten your clay a little bit more before you continue. So it shouldn't be hard, but you should feel some resistance. Okay, so I'm gonna roll it. You should be able to feel that resistance let up whenever you get past your clay. And then we're gonna roll back. Rolling back should be very easy. Um, however, I want you to always have two hands on the wheel at once, or one hand at least on the wheel. I don't want you to just spin it and let it go. That's how we break the slab roller. The slab roller is upwards of $2,000, so we don't, we don't want to have to pay for that. So I'm gonna put it back to the end. I'm going to carefully unroll this big piece of canvas and you should have a really nice rolled out quarter inch slab. Okay, I'm gonna carefully pick this up and I'm gonna move it over to my workspace. A um, couple of things to notice here. So you'll notice where the canvas picked up moisture from my clay. So that's what I'm talking about. If you see this, you're probably gonna wanna move your clay to a different drier spot. If your clay does stick, which you really don't want super sticky clay when you're using the slab roller, but if your clay does stick, um, somewhere either at the end of the slab roller or on the filing cabinet next to it, I have a ribbon tool that should always stay up here. If your clay gets stuck, it is your responsibility to scrape it up, okay? So you're gonna scrape up your clay, whether it's on the big piece or the canvas board, scrape it up, 
gather all of your clay. You don't want to leave any of that clay on here because that'll leave indentions on the next person's clay and then potentially cause it to stick as well. So scrape up everything that was yours, gather it up, and you need to go back to your seat to re-wedge and re-prepare your clay for the slab roller. Um, if it's stuck because of moisture on the slab roller, that doesn't necessarily mean that your clay was too sticky, but just kind of take note of how your clay feels, the consistency of your clay, and decide if you need to add powder to it or if it was just because you put it in a wet spot on the slab roller and you just need to re-roll it. Um, the other thing that I want to address is that we should never, ever, ever have powder over here at the slab roller. Powder should always stay at the clay mixing table. Um, if we have a wet spot, then just move around. We can also kind of wait for it to dry, but we should never have powder over here. So that is a tutorial on how to use the slab roller. Now that you've learned, you may use it whenever you need it.